Hi guys, so because I'm going to be using equipment here, the reason I'm using this one is that firstly, if you are on a hard surface, you can use socks. And secondly, if you're on carpet, you can use a magazine paper, a piece of cardboard. So everyone is covered here. Now, the reason I'm using this is to engage our core. We're going to do a fast core workout. So it's one that's great to add to another workout or one that's great for active recovery, one that's great to warm you up for um, stronger core-based or inversion workouts. So multi-dimensional workout for you. We're going to use a pyramid 15, 20, 25, 20, 15 of one exercise. And the other exercise is going to be just two times of it. So the first exercise is going to be frog sliders, okay? So you're going to grab the two items that you're going to slide on and you're going to bring yourself with your wrists slightly over again. So we're working on shoulder strength as well. If you're working into planche, this is really going to help you. And tuck your core. From here, you're going to extend out into your plank. From here, you're going to bring your knees in between your elbows and your armpits. Keeping your bottom tucked and push out. One. And you're going to do 15, two. Now, if you really figure that you can't use equipment, from here you step in, step out, step back, step back, okay? So you can do it without equipment. The second part of it, the two exercise, is to come into a dragon hold. So you're here in a downward dog or bend your knees if you need to, bend your arms. And you're going to hold here and pulse one, two. Now don't untuck your core, keep your core tucked. So one, two. Elbows are wrapped in. You could put a band around it to keep those elbows wrapped in. So elbows aren't splaying out, they're really wrapped in. And you're heading down in a small pulsing action to the floor, really going to engage your core and shoulders. It's going to be a full burn of the shoulders, core, hip flexors. Everything you're going to feel, but it's really going to interact to make your upper body and lower body connect to the floor. So again, it'll be 15, 20, 25, 20, 15, plus the two, and you take a break when you need. So let's get started. I hope you will enjoy. Shoulders down, chest up, weight is over here. Keep your bottom down, one. Head in neutral, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I'm not moving back like this, I'm staying still, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, do a weight with your sliders, if you have socks go against the wall so you don't fall, belly button in, don't relax your stomach, wrap your shoulders in, Start to bend them to your lowest, where you think is your lowest, and then go a little lower. One, head neutral, two. So you're gonna really feel it everywhere. It's gonna take its toll of feeling like a burn in such a short time. So take your break when you need to. Do it in now if you're doing 20, do two sets of 10 if you need to. So I'm gonna show you the active core a little bit closer. A short workout can be just as effective here. Okay, leaning over, so you can see it's not as active, leaves a lot of room, more active, tucking the core. And one, so I'm not bringing the bottom up, two, I'm bringing the bottom down, core is active, three, four, I'm not moving here, four, I'm staying still, five, head neutral, six, seven, eight, keep going, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, you can really feel it, 17, 18, 19, 20, rest. Take a break, take a moment to breathe, feel the energy, set yourself up, and again, see in the core activate. Nice and tight and strong, not laxing off, core in, see? Core in here. Belly, legs can be bent, still core in. Now, from here, bend your elbows as low can you go. Keep the core in again, tuck your pelvis again. And one, and your forehead is going down over your hands. Two, okay? So, 
Everything is about you listening to your body, you activating it, you working it. If you don't, you're not going to get the results that you would desire. Keep going, 25. If you have a non-sticky floor, it gets hard. <laughs> Five. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-four. <laughs> Twenty-five. Okay, so the good thing is now we're soon going down from the pyramid. <laughs> All right, going back to 20 and then 15. Belly button in, wrap your core. <sighs> Shoulders down, chest up. Head in neutral, a little bit up position. Not too crammed, just a little bit. And you can come up on your toes if you want. Belly button in again. Pull your pelvis in. Elbows in one. Two, all right. Back to the sliders. If your arms are getting sore, you can squeeze just below the wrist bone, nice and tight. Bring your fist together and you get a decompression of the wrist here. You'll feel a few cracks go one way and then the other. It's a great way to decompress the wrist joints if you're feeling it, okay? Make sure you warm up. You could always go to your, wrist, your elbows if you absolutely need to as well or on your fists, okay? Take care of your whole body. Don't push past the point of breaking. Then you have to repair again. Listen to your body. It's not weak to take a break. Five, 15 to go. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. All right, back up. Only two reps. Shoulders in, belly button in, pelvis tilt, and wrap your arms. One, two. If you want to make it harder, stay a little longer down in the spot. Last time. If you want to make it more intense, do another set of this pyramid. Or add it to the end of a workout if you feel like you're not exhausted. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Last two. Get straight into it. Wrap your arms, belly button in, pelvis tilt. And one. Two, and there you have it. A killer core workout, a great addition to your workout. <clears throat> Sometimes fast and effective is also fantastic. It doesn't need to be hours out of your day to get results to help you on your journey of your real wealth, your health. So don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell. If you need any other information, scroll below for details of equipment or details of where the workout might start or other places where I might be. And remember, there are so many wonderful people out here on YouTube and social media that there is no, no reason why you can't find what you need as a person. There's always something for everyone, but social media is a place just like anywhere in the world that if we don't utilize it wisely, utilize it for not mindless scrolling and finding fault, but ability to work on ourselves, to find the people that inspire us and lift us up, then it will be no, not beneficial for us. Only anything works for us if we work to create it into a place that we want it to be and we guide it to. Anything can be non-effective and effective. It just depends on how you utilize it. A plank can be effective or non-effective depending if you engage your core or not. So everything has its ability to work with us or against us. It's only when we work with something, find what works for us and who we are, that we get the best results. Have a great day. Namaste.